The Fort Worth mayor called it the most important vote she might cast, a pension decision affecting roughly 10,000 city employees and retirees. News 8's Todd Unger has more. With that, we have a motion and a second, and I'd call for a vote. It's the moment every Fort Worth employee and citizen needs to see and hear. Motion carries. The council passing eight to zip, a proposal to fix a $1.6 billion pension shortfall. It's immoral, illegal, unconstitutional for us to vote to decrease the benefits of someone who's already walked out. Simply put, the police and firefighter associations are backing off opposition after getting a major concession from the city. I mean, promised retirement benefits. No change to cost of living adjustments for retirees like one-time officer Angela J. And this is their only way that they're gonna get any kind of raise. There's nothing else for them. For years, I mean, we didn't pay into Social Security because we were self-retirement. Uh, the new plan does include sharp reductions and eliminations to call up for current employees. It also means a bigger city contribution, a.k.a. an extra $21 million taxpayer dollars every year to help pull Cowtown out of the money pit. This is our issue locally, and we want to settle it here, and we know what works best for the city of Fort Worth. Here's the kicker, though. Despite Tuesday's vote, more than 50% of current employees still have to vote to okay the plan. If that goes sideways. And we have a bunch of new players going down there, uh, and you just don't know. It could be hello Austin to find a legislative solution similar to what we saw in Houston and Dallas. Now, police, firefighters, and general service employees are also going to be increasing their paycheck contributions to the pension fund. That employee vote will likely be at the end of January or the beginning of February. And again, they've got to hit that 50% threshold. We're live in Fort Worth tonight. Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.